guys, it's Tony with Wandering Wienery Antiques. Haven't made a video in a long time, but this one was definitely worth the wait. Uh, recently, about a month ago, I found two old boxes of toys at an antique uh, estate sale. And one of the boxes has stuff that's been wrapped in newspaper for decades, probably. The, the newspaper's all yellowed. Um, I took a couple out just to see kind of what was in the box and quickly decided to buy it. So uh, we're going to unwrap everything today, see what's in these boxes, and uh, go treasure hunting. So be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Twitter. And uh, check out my website at wanderingwiener.com. You can buy some cool hats and t-shirts with the logo on it. And uh, let's go digging. So here is box number one. Uh, this is the one that was not wrapped up. Again, there's a few newer things in here, um, but for the most part, it's pretty old. Um, I am utilizing two different cameras here today. Um, I got my phone, obviously, but then also I have uh, some spy glasses that I'm trying out. So we'll see how those work as well. Hopefully I'll be able to cut back and forth between the two. Also, I have my magnifying glass here since I can't see very well. Uh, so we'll start with the big one here. It's a Tonka. I already did notice that. Um, a Pacer. Pretty good condition. And again, I'm not a toy expert, so uh, if I say something wrong, or if I don't know the answer uh, of what these are, uh, forgive me, but if you uh, happen to know what some of these are that I don't, Feel free to leave a comment. Um, that one's pretty beat, old ambulance. Um, let's see, I can't exactly tell what the make of or model of that is, but uh, that one's pretty beat up anyway. Another Tonka moving van type of a truck. Probably 70s, I assume. Not in too bad a shape, but nothing too special. Missing its steering wheel, but like an old race car dune buggy Tonka. Car carrier. Hopefully there's a couple of uh, trucks in here that would fit on this. And don't see a maker on that one. Probably another Tonka, kind of beat up. But... Uh, this magnifying glass doesn't seem to be working too well. Another one. That one's definitely a Tonka. A couple of these road construction type. There's another one that goes with it, kind of a trailer hitch kind of a thing. This is one of the what I assume is a newer toy radio flyer. Seems like these came out maybe in the 90s. Another Tonka. Lots of these Tonkas in here. That looks like a Ghostbuster type station wagon. That one is a upside down. Mercury, that's a matchbox, it says. Kind of cool, though. That one's a little bigger than a uh, normal size Hot Wheel or matchbox car. Here's some of the ones that I was excited about. Uh, Hot Wheels has what they call a red line, I believe it is, with the uh, red line around the tires. This one looks to be about from that era, but that one is a matchbox looks like but still one of the older ones kind of unique looking we'll set that one aside rather than putting it in the box there's quite a few of these type cars um, again not exactly sure what brand but let's see if I can zoom in a little bit Tootsie Toy so probably 60s, maybe early 70s on that. Looks like a Mustang, maybe. I seem to recall having this as a kid back in the 70s or early 80s. 
way heavier than most of the Hot Wheels type. Also had some like this. Drag racer kind. So again, this is not the old uh, box with all the newspaper wrappings. This one is uh, some of the newer stuff. Looks like that says Tootsie Toy as well. So Mercedes. Another old wagon. A lot of these are probably Matchbox, Tootsie Toy, that kind of thing. I probably won't bore you too much with a lot of these. Simply because this is not what I was excited about. But still, Matchbox from uh, 1975, it says. Made in England. And as you can see, that one's in pretty nice condition. Looks pretty much brand new. Let's see if we can find any more like that that are next to mint. It's an interesting cowboy drag car. Again, there's several old 60s toys here. But these are not the ones that I was excited about. Still pretty good collection. Old VW Bug. I assume that's also a Tootsie toy. Now on the floor toy. So again, there's probably uh, easily 50 different old toy cars here. Some old helicopters or maybe not so old probably not there's a biplane that's kind of neat what I'm really excited about is this other box so uh, I think we're probably going to call it quits on this one and uh, Go dig through this box that hasn't been touched and seen the light of day in probably 40 50 years all right so this is the box that i was excited about and you can see there's a few newer ones like these mcdonald's plastic toys um, but there's a couple old revel model kits and i took a quick glance at those i think you'll be surprised at the condition that those are in um but really what we're looking at here is some of these older toys that have not been touched in quite some time. That's not one. Um, but we're going to dig through these and see what we can find. I think we'll get these uh, old Coca-Cola or McDonald's, I guess, uh, out of the way. There's an old NASA rocket. It's plastic. It's not metal. Trying to dig through, get some of the things that are plastic and newer out of the way first. There's a uh, Oscar Mayer wiener. That's actually, uh, it's plastic, but it's heavier than most. Always good to find a wiener in a box. A surprise wiener. So here's another one of the older pieces. This one looks like it's been used a little bit. But that's definitely one of the older. Uh, here's one of the McDonald's trucks that goes with those trailers that I picked out a minute ago. Old wagon. Let's see here. That looks like another plastic newer piece. Again... A little bit newer. Another new semi. Or new ish. Uh, let's see, there's another McDonald's. 
another plastic. There's a NASA, so I bet that trailer and that rocket go together. It's kind of neat. So we're getting into some of the older stuff here, obviously. I think we can look at these. Revels Quick Construction Kit Model Kits. There is one of the pieces of paper that is original to it, and it looks like it's never been put together, obviously. Um, may or may not be complete, but the box is nice. Um, so we will set that aside, and this one, also Revel Highway Pioneers Model Ford from 1903, but this one still in the original bag. So that was a nice find. Pardon me while I put this back together with one hand. A little tricky. Um, so here is another thing that caught my eye. Dinky Toys original booklet. I don't think I found a year on this when I was glancing through it. But uh, looks like it's probably from the 50s with these cars in it. Nice original Dinky Toys. sales type booklet uh, this is a newer one again airport limousine but let's see let me zoom in on that one yeah made in China so obviously there's some that are newer here, but as you can see, we're getting into some of the older stuff. Old fighter jet. Probably also made in China or Japan, something like that. Some more other uh, Tootsie toys, probably. Fire truck that's metal, but plastic on the bottom, newer. Another Tootsie Toy, another semi. Quite a few of these semis that I'll have to try to match up later. Some sort of plastic race car. But now you can see some of the things. Here's a coin purse too that I didn't know that was in there. I'm assuming is empty. Looks like it. That's a shame. Surprise money is always fun. Um, but yeah, let's start digging through some of these newspapers. We'll see if we can find a date on the newspaper as well. Unfortunately, this one has a uh, broken propeller, but that's a pretty nice old plane from Hubley. Looks like it's also missing wheels on the front. But would be good for parts, or uh, if you had the parts, try to recondition that one. There's a nice older horse-drawn carriage. Looks like maybe a milk truck. And uh, I'm going to try to zoom in on this one as well. Thinking that says Matchbox. This was a nice old uh, race car type that I'm going to try to zoom in on. Dinky. So that goes with the uh, booklet that I found. Made in England. I haven't found too many of these Dinky toys over the years, so uh, I don't know how many made, them, made their way overseas to us here in the U.S. But as you can see, it doesn't look like these have been touched. 
It's another Dinky Toys tow truck. And I assume another Dinky Toys forklift. No idea on which ones of these would be rare, if any. But uh, clearly from the 50s, 60s era. And again, all unwrapped, or mostly unwrapped. Some of those that I just showed you, I actually did unwrap at the estate sale. That one, the uh, wheel is busted. If you follow me on social media, I did post this picture because it was already out, but I posted this picture on uh, social media a few weeks back. So, now the exciting part of unwrapping all of this to see what we have. We're going to try to find a date on these newspapers. Custom Homes. I was trying to find a price. Yeah, Custom Home on 105 acres for 498000 so a little bit old. Another race car. Dinky, I assume. Yep, Dinky Maserati. Again, pretty much like brand new. Hasn't been touched. I do not see a date on that particular newspaper. We'll go to the next one. Sorry, hopefully this isn't too uh, noisy or too nauseating with the shaky camera here. But Okay, so this one is not as old. Another uh, semi-plastic. Hopefully we get more of the old, less of the new. Okay, well, these newspapers are not as old as I thought. 1996. Still about 25 years old. So they've been in here for a while. There's an old eraser, rubber R, and a key to something that I don't know what it is. Nice old red tractor. I don't see what that says. International, I think. Also has a sticker on the top that I also can't read. Oh, Ferguson. Let's see if we can zoom in on this and read that. Made in Denmark. Have it upside down, but. So that's probably a one you don't see here in the US very often. There's a lot of these in here, probably 20 to 30. Alright, so we're in a Mercy Tunnel. Dinky Toys. That one has a little bit of wear, but not much. So that's a police car of sorts. Again, hasn't been touched in who knows how long. This feels like a bus. first time. So again, Dinky Toys. A couple little dings and scratches on it, but for the most part, kind of like brand new. This feels, if I had to guess, it's about twice as thick as that other one. A double-decker bus, maybe? Haha. <laughs> yep. 
Look at the condition of these. That's just fantastic. Fantastic condition. Another dinky. So I'm guessing like anything else, there's rare ones and there's common ones. There's another key. And I don't know what's what. I don't know which are good, which are common. So I'm going to have to do some research on that. But I did do some quick looking. And dinky toys can go 20 30 or so dollars a piece. So you're looking at... Assuming these are all dinky. All the way down here in the bottom. I still have 20 to go. At least. I'm looking at several hundreds of dollars here for this collection. That's cool. An old tank. Also dinky. Here's another little tootsie toy it looks like that made its way down in there. And another key. Open the next one here. Wow. Sorry, not in frame here, but these. Another dinky toy. That one looks like it's possibly a little older. A Jaguar. Maybe mid early 50s. At least the style of car, I assume. Not exactly sure when they were made, but probably about that same time. Just almost perfect. Again, while I unwrap this next one, follow me on social media and follow me out here or subscribe to my channel on YouTube because uh, I find stuff like this every once in a while and we're going to dig through it together and see what treasures have been packed away forever. Let's get to this uh, next one here. Another little race car. Triumph. Again, just look at the condition of these. They've just not been played with. Or if they were very little and then packed away. It still has the plastic if you can see that plastic windshield. Get to the next one. All right, well, that one's disappointing after opening up these others, but we'll see what we get with the next one. Looks like a maybe a Tootsie Toy old camper. Midge Toy maybe. Not quite as exciting. Let's get to one of these small ones here. So again, these have been wrapped up in papers from the Mid 90s, it looks like so. Uh, matchbox again, just like new, been wrapped up for 25 years. I'd love to find some more dinkies. I think this one feels like it's a little bit bigger. This maybe feels like a Jeep. So, yeah, army jeep. Another dinky, and again, just next to perfect. Let's go with another small one this time. Just look at that. Shiny red. Another Jaguar. Yep. 
one of the newer ones fell down, so if you're wondering what that sound was, this one is wrapped up tight, and I can't tell based on how it feels what this one looks like. Race car, maybe, of some sort. Convertible. Just look at that. I know I keep saying it, but it's like brand new. You can imagine the kid who got these for Christmas or a birthday just did not play with these hardly at all. Let's go small. That's cool. Another dinky. A Hillman Minx. I've never heard of that. But I will take it because it's old and almost perfect. That one actually does have a little bit of a ding on the paint. Let's go. Oh, there's two down here in the corner. I was thinking there's only one, so that's good news, except that one. Not too exciting. Probably from the 90s, a McDonald's drag racing car. Let's put this other one that's been buried in the corner here. Yep, another dinky. Definitely a toy from England. Driver's on the right side. That one does not have a driver, but it doesn't look like it was supposed to. What kind of car is that? Austin Healy? Austin Atlantic. Got a couple little dings on the paint. But for a... 60, 70 year old toy. Just amazing. Alright, so we're getting about halfway through this. I think one of these felt pretty light. I think it was this one. So we'll start with that one. It might be newer, but from the feel of it, maybe not. Definitely not. Is that a Ferrari, Jaguar, Bristol 450? Again, look at the paint. Just amazing. I thought that one was going to be a newer one because it didn't weigh as much. Oh, this is beautiful. That's my kind of car right there. Old Woody precursor to the SUV. Just amazing condition. Almost new on that one too. I know the video is getting long, but I think you're probably enjoying this. Hopefully as much as I am. A Sunbeam Alpine. Also by Dinky. Also with a perfect driver. Plastic windshield. Just amazing, amazing condition on these. And then we get that. Kind of boring. Plastic. Newer from the 90s. Let's get to the next one here. Farm truck. Dump truck. Also by Dinky. It's a Dodge. Even the farm and work trucks are almost perfect. They don't get too much nicer. Could almost call these new old stock. 
I don't know. I assume they came in boxes back in the day. Too bad there's not a few of those in here. Look at that. A Kodak. That one's a little dinged up. Also by Dinky. Still, even the ones that are dinged up and have been played with are in amazing condition. Alright, so let's see. We've got two, four, five, six. Sorry, camera's shaking there. Eight, ten, eleven, twelve, or thirteen here left. This feels like another bus, maybe. Down to our last dozen, Baker's dozen. Let's hope that all of these are dinky. Pretty nice. British Railways. Again, a dinky. So, again, these have been packed up. Looks like Sorry, I shouldn't have uh, shown an address there. But uh, 96 packed up since the mid-90s, about 25 years. Now, something tells me that this might be one of the rare ones. Because this one would be easy to break that handlebar off. Easy to break that plastic windshield. And that one is not a dinky. What is this? I can't read that. It's from Denmark. Who can tell me what that says? Fechner? F-E-K-N-E-R? Or N-O? Fechno? Never heard of that. That's got to be one of the rare ones. And again, just perfect. It's a Vespa. We're going to set that aside here in this box. That was a key. I didn't break anything. Look at that. 1930s, 40s, coupe looking. Style. Again, a dinky. Just amazing color, amazing paint, amazing condition. Never been played with or very little use. This feels like another bus. This is like Christmas opening these. Paper not so pretty, no tree, and tomorrow is Halloween, but this is my Christmas. That is just amazing. Little bit of a ding there. Another dinky. That's just great. All right, down to our last few here. Keep following me. I find stuff all the time, usually not like this, but I do find stuff quite a bit. That looks like an old Corvette, is that right? Mercedes. That's pre-Corvette, I guess, from the style of it. I saw the rounded fenders there and thought Corvette for a minute. That one's got a few little dings on it. But still, very nice condition. Way better than you find them most days. Down to our last six or seven now. Tell these things have been wrapped up forever. Oh, 
hard to even get out. All right, so there we have one where the window is actually missing. Finally have some with a little bit of damage. Another dinky. Everything else is pretty nice on that one. So how many have we had here? 30, 40 old dinkies in almost brand new condition. Another one. It's actually a very deep gray, but it's showing blue in here. Again, that one has, it's hard to see, but there's a plastic windshield there that's still there, still original. And just amazing condition. like a farm toy maybe yeah is that a dinky I can't read it that's also a dinky Couple more. This is a small one. And disappointment. McDonald's, Matchbox, Hot Wheels, something like that. This one feels heavier, bigger, dinkier. Let's have the rest of these be dinkies. Yes. Another dinky. A Renault Dauphine. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Really don't care, because again, thing's just perfect. That one's actually dusty somehow. I don't know how we got some dust on that one, but just amazing, amazing collection here that I bought. And, strange story before we wrap this up, I actually was near my house and because of some uh, construction, had to take a wrong turn out of the way from where I normally drive. And this sale had just happened to be there that day. And it was a Tuesday, I believe. Just a random after work sale that I found. Wasn't even planning on going down that street. Sometimes you just get lucky and find some amazing things. Last two. Look at that. A little bit of paint chip on there. Not bad. But all complete, I think. All amazing condition. Oh, there's a paint chip. Then we're down to our last one. Again, follow me on uh, social media and subscribe and like my my uh, YouTube because I find some things like this every once in a while and we dig through boxes and look for goodies and gold and jewelry and this is my first video on old toys because I rarely find anything that's been packaged up like this. I think it's pretty uncommon to find a collection like this that's been saved forever and has never been touched. So just to recap, Tony with Wandering Wiener Antiques here. Estate sale find, old toys, probably from the 50s, wrapped in newspaper since the 90s, in an amazing condition. I'm going to stop talking and just let you enjoy.